class 8 science we will start the new chapter coal and petroleum and in this video we will discuss about natural resources and coal which is a fossil fuel first what do you mean by natural resources sources obtained from nature like air water soil and minerals are called natural resources in the light of the availability of various resources in nature, natural resources can be broadly classified into two kinds. First one is inexhaustible natural resources. These resources are present in unlimited quantity clear? in nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities. Examples are sunlight and air. Exhaustible natural resources, the amount of these resources in nature is limited and they can be exhausted by human activities. Examples of these are forests, wildlife, minerals, coal, petroleum and natural gas. Now what is fossil fuels? Some exhaustible natural resources like coal, petroleum and natural gas were formed from the dead remains of living organisms. And actually these dead remains of living organisms are known as fossils. Clear? That's why these are known as fossil fuels. That is coal, petroleum and natural gas. These are the fossil fuels. First we will discuss about the coal. It is as hard as stone and is black in color. Coal is one of the fuels used to cook food. Earlier it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run the engine. That is train run by the steam engine. In that coal was used. It is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Coal is also used as a fuel in various industries. Now how this coal is formed? Then we will discuss that is about story of coal. About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forest in low-lying wetland areas. And due to natural processes like flooding, these forests got buried under the soil. As more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. Under high pressure and high temperature, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. In this way, coal is formed. Thus, and actually coal contains the carbon. That's why the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since it was formed from the remains of vegetation, coal is also called a fossil fuel. With the help of diagram, you can see how coal was formed. Before dinosaurs, many giant plants died in the swamp. Swamp means wetland. In Hindi, this is known as daldal. Over millions of years, the plants were buried under water and dirt. And heat and pressure turned the dead plants, dead plants into coal. You can see in this diagram. Okay, this one, this one and this one. And presently, these coals are obtained by the mining. So, these are the diagrams of coal minings. Okay. Types of coal. Depending on the moisture content and carbon content, coal can be classified into the various categories. First one is peat, but actually it is not classified as a coal because it is obtained by the partially decayed plant. Okay, and it has low heat content. Heat content means amount of heat produced by unit kilogram of fuel burning. Okay, how much heat is produced that is called heat content but under the heat and pressure this peat will convert into the lignite which is brown coal and this again have the low heat content low sulfur content and limited supplies in most areas 
and again under heat and pressure this lignite will convert into bituminous this is a soft coal and this is extensively used as a fuel because of its high heat content and large supplies normally has a high sulfur content and when this bituminous undergo heat and pressure this will convert into the another variety that is called anthracite that is hard coal this is highly desirable fuel because of its high heat content and low sulfur contents but again its supply is limited with the help of this diagram you can also see this is peat is formed by the partially decaying plant when heat and pressure applied this will convert into the lignite and finally lignite will convert into the bituminous and anthracite okay and when this coal is heated in air it burns and produce mainly carbon dioxide gas and coal is processed in industries to get some useful products such as coke coal tar and coal gas okay actually when coal is heated in the absence of air then that process is known as a destructive distillation of coal and on destructive distillation of coal it produce three substances solid substance is called coal coke liquid substance is called coal tar and the gas is known as coal gas okay this coke is used to make iron and other metals this coal tar is used to make dyes and drugs and perfumes and coal gas is used as fuel in industries coke actually coke is a tough porous porous means have pores holes that is called porous and black substance it is an almost pure form of carbon coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction of many metals this extraction means metals are obtained by the minerals which minerals are present in the earth crust by the process of mining we will take the minerals and from these minerals metals are obtained that is known as extraction of metal another is coal tar it is a black thick liquid with an unpleasant smell it is a mixture of about 200 substances products obtained from coal tar are used as starting materials for manufacturing various substances used in everyday life and in industry like synthetic dyes drugs explosives perfumes plastics paints photographic materials roofing materials etc interestingly naphthalene bowls why interestingly you know the color of naphthalene bowls this is white in color and what is the color of coal tar this is black from black coal tar we can get the white substance naphthalene bowls and this is used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar these days bitumen a petroleum product is used in place of coal tar for metalling the road metalling the road it means to make the strong road that is in hindi we can say pakki sadak that actually coal tar in common language this is known as dammar as you know this is road made from dammar now at the days this coal tar is replaced by bitumen coal gas coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke it is a mixture of hydrogen methane and carbon monoxide it is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants coal gas was used for street lighting for the first time in london in 1810 and in new york around 1820 but nowadays it is used as a source of heat rather than light clear students Okay thank you